Good morning, everyone. We're over here checking out the lot where they're storing all the tracking supports. And uh, yeah, it looks like there's a few different things over there. Uh, right in front of the crane, it looks like uh, all covered up. It looks like a motor. Uh, I think that's the lift hill motor that's there. And it does look like a couple of extra pieces of track have been added since last week. Let's go inside the park and find out what else is new. Hey guys, I'm over here at uh, Bush Gardens and look who I ran into. Hey, how's it going? It's Zoda Loopers, Brian here. That's me. And uh, make sure you go ahead and follow him. Man, he's got some great videos and he doesn't just cover Bush Gardens, he covers a lot of parks. I really appreciate it. And, and you know, he's one of the guys that uh, I follow and you should definitely follow him too. He's, he's here to, guess what? Catch some video of uh, the Gwazi Kings. Yep, Kalen on whatever run he's been running, 5,000 or something? He just hit 5,000 yesterday. He just hit 5,000. Impressive. Uh, let's see what else he's got to be playing. Yeah, for sure. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. And make sure to subscribe. Show a bunch of love to Bush Gardens Junkie. Yeah. yeah. Thank awesome. you. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. All right. Tis a season two party, so get your Mardi Gras on. As we're coming up to Iron Gwazi and the entrance to the Gwazi area, you see some work walls here. It looks like they're gonna do some work on the sidewalk. Yep, they did. Well, we're on Falcon Fury again for Yay. another update. Wow. On what's going on over here? We're putting more tilt, uh, more. Um, All right, so we definitely have more work. Done. That looks like uh yeah, that's what I was talking about right there, more right theater. in front of him here. The the iron work for the footers. Stupid tree. Stupid tree in the way. Yep, but look at that right here. So they're getting the footers ready. They're pulling already. Right there. There's a couple more back. Boy, there. look at all this work. Yeah, they hear them screaming. Oh, over more. there too! Wow! 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 They're doing a lot of good work. They're getting ready for this thing. And like I said, this is like the ah. best view here in the park. <laughs> ah, I'm getting dripped on. Well, not. Yeah. All right, guys. Now for the over the wall look.
now from the All other right, side of the blockage. Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone is having a wonderful time. Some great updates, huh? So far, from what I've noticed, there has been a lot of foundation work. Yep. The storm drains that were being put in last week look like they're all covered up and they're all in place. It looks like some more footers have been put in. And not only that, but we spotted some, what looks like more track in, the, uh, in that parking lot there. What a great update. What what else do we have planned for him in the in in this video? Uh well today we're supposed to do the cheetah hunt tour today. Yeah, the cheetah insider tour. Now unfortunately the cheetahs are a little bit squeamish about cameras, so we were told we cannot record or film inside the cheetah uh, inside the cheetah insider tour okay yeah so we're gonna give you all of it that we can give up to the point where we have to stop filming so let's see what else is uh bush gardens has in store for us today let's go all right from a different angle we can see all the work that's being done over here. They uh, look like they're tearing down some of the bamboo there. It's a very good possibility that is where the sidewalk is going or possibly some support structure. Yeah, and see there is the ironwork that has been preformed for the footers. Yeah. Yeah. And right over there, they got the foundation and they got footers. Uh, they got footers all over the place over here. You can see where all the mains are for the fire. Uh, water mains. And there goes a train in the background way over there. What a good view. Sir, this is quite a bit of work. Yeah, 
uh, right here, I believe, is where the station is supposed to go. With the queue right about there, and the entrance would be right about there. And then it comes out here, goes up the lift hill, goes over the access road over there does some stuff over there comes back over and comes over here oh okay there we go guys uh, I was going to get a ride on Kumba to check out what's happening over there in the parking lot, but unfortunately, Kumba is down for uh, down temporarily for technical difficulties. But rest assured, the only thing we're going to see in there is probably some more iron work for the foundation for Phoenix Rising over there. But um, yeah, the, the track we all know is off-site in the overflow parking lot. They're not gonna put any track there, so we'll, we'll see. I, I'm gonna just say we're gonna skip Kumba this time. But we'll catch it next week. Uh, Sheikra is kind of closed and that could be explaining why You got some scaffolding work and stuff like that And oh yeah, but this splash zone is empty Hello We are now into the real music series. So uh, here are some shows. The Fifth Dimension, Direct from Sweden, Eagle Mania, Brass Transit, Steve Michaels, Mike De Del Del Gussi, Del Gutis, uh, Robert Neary, all at the Stanleyville Theater. So, we were uh, going to come over here and see what else is, well, it looks like they're starting to take down the Christmas lights, but they got it blocked off with somewhat of it blocked, but not quite blocked. And then, of course, our very active pink chickens. Just a little preview of the treats that we'll be able to pick up. Shrimp Creole, Jambalaya, and Sausage Gumbo. Now this is on the inside here. Let me go ahead and get you a view of the map.
as you will notice right in front of iron guazi you'll get hurricanes and then you got excursions and number three you got an artisan tequila tasting sweet treats the voodoo lounge esplante street bites the creamery jackson square the spring staff room and the french quarter wines all right here we're at number nine and number eight the creamery over here and jackson square right there the springs tap room also has some uh treats we have the nola sandwich with house-made voodoo chips and then a couple of drinks make sure you check out bushgardens.com and get the latest on the menu over here to see what kind of work they did let's see if there's um yep there is so we still have the work walls up by Kangaloom ah They are actually doing some work on their habitat way over there. In that back corner. And we also see some workers up here up front. Happy New Year! Make sure to visit the updated Tangaloom in 2024. So yeah, Mardi Gras extends back that way, but it is closed off because they are taking down the lights from Christmas Town. There's still some decorations that are up that they need to take down. Um, yeah, there is something weird going on here. The macaws are not out. I usually say it's a great day at Bush Gardens when the macaws are out. I, I have to say it's still a great day, even though the macaws are not out. So it's a great day when the macaws are or not out. Not only do they have many, many birds here inside Bush Gardens, but they even have some wild birds too. So we didn't get to see the macaws, but we get to see a hawk. <laughs> so we have the cheetahs are not in the habitat today because, uh, well, I'm, I'm sure the cheetahs would not like these workers in their habitat while they're trying to fix up the rock work. So yeah, there was uh, there's some rock work that needs to be done here and they're just trying to blend it all together, make it look nice, make it look like natural rock again. 
And don't worry, folks, we'll be able to see the cheetahs. Tomorrow. We'll, we'll, be, uh, we'll be going in the insider tour and checking them out a little bit later on today. Just a quick update for all you guys out there. It is a weekend before Martin Luther King Day. And, uh, well, Cobra's Curse? Cobra's Curse is currently closed. But I think that's just a today thing. Shikra is down for annual maintenance. Congo River Rapids is also down for annual maintenance, but should be coming back up in about two weeks, I think. And there's also a rumor. I'm gonna say this is a rumor and take it with a grain of salt, please. Take it with a grain of salt. That the Sky Ride should be in operation on January 20th. Just, just a few days away. Um, other than that, uh, we didn't ride Kumba because it was closed temporarily, but it is running now. But I think uh, right now we're just waiting for our uh, Cheetah Insider Tour. And from there, we'll probably get in another ride on Iron Gwazi. And then we'll head home. I always thought we were the life of the party, not life of the Marty. <laughs> Starting tomorrow, Mardi Gras, guys. Don't forget to get your party on. No photography allowed behind the scenes. Just because the keepers and the cheetahs are still getting used to the back there. Hi. Are you on tour with us? Yes. What's the last name? Lee. Yes, yes, it is. There are two of you, yeah? Okay, just check it. Awesome. Okay, so um, look, I'm going to switch you with the number two over our rules here. Um, once we get ready to start the tour, I'm going to pass a face mask to everybody that is required for this tour when we go behind the scenes. Um, once we're behind the scenes, there is no photography, no video. You guys are going to use people being behind the scenes. Um, so we're trying to make it less scary for them. Something about phones and cameras kind of freaks them out a little bit. So we're working on it. Um, there will be a yellow line. It's actually stay behind the yellow line at all times. That is your space versus Chief's space. So if you want to be comfortable. Uh, we will be about a half hour back there, so I do ask if you need to use the restroom. It is this building next door to us here. Uh, otherwise, we'll just hang in this area and we'll get out of here in a little bit. Is there an option for photographs at any point? Not while we're behind the scenes, no. So you heard that, folks. We're not going to get video of the actual kitty cats. Not yet. But we'll get close. Yeah. Maybe one day. To our Jason Dash, there are four. Um, they just turned four back in November. And then we have um, pairings for all of them. So you have uh, Tende Tabo. They're about eight years old. There are two males. We have Kiara and Kibisa. They are also eight years old. They're very pretty, but very shy. We have Kasi, who is a solo cheetah. And then we have Name and She, who are 13 and our oldest cheetahs, and probably our fastest cheetahs. They've got clock going 64 miles per hour um, on our track here. We haven't done it recently, though, because um, our Raider gun has broken. Um, so we're ordered a new one. So we haven't been on a tracker just yet, but I'm sure she's passed that by now. Right now they're doing some construction on our habitat here. Um, so that's why they're not out right now, because the man in the orange shirt would be very intriguing to them. I bet. <laughs> okay, that's just, they're like, what is that? For being big, uh, well, big in size wise, they're big scary cats in general. They're not the bravest thing in the world. You know, tall people scare them. Like, I saw them up from the yeah. Yes. Yeah, and sometimes like, like be like motorized things, like wheelchairs. We can't have wheelchairs going behind the scenes because that freaks them out a little bit because uh, it's unpredictable. Um, small children, that's a scary one for them. Oh, they don't okay. like that, but neither do I. So. <laughs> yeah, they're like, what is that? <laughs> Typically, if they're smaller than a cheetah, you become lunch for <laughs> cheetah. <laughs> Yeah, we were wondering when we were checking uh -huh. in, yeah. you know, is it wheelchair accessible? No. Okay, we'll park these right outside. Yeah, I'll show you where we can put these. <laughs> and uh, wondering, we were wondering why uh -huh. was it not wheelchair? But yeah, yeah. now we know. They're, they're it's, a, we, it's something uh, we tried once with... Uh, with um, Gert? Like a, uh, no, not with Gert. Gert, Gert doesn't, hasn't done this tour yet. Um, we tried it with a, like a walker and... Uh, 
not gonna go well. Crutches are okay sometimes. It depends on the cheetah. Canes are okay. I think it's just with the, the wheels making noise. I think that's what gets them. Look at that. They're scared about a lot of weird things. Thunder. They don't like thunder. Because thunder equals rain. They don't like rain. So a whole bunch of fun stuff for that. <laughs> Um, all cheetahs can say yes or no if they don't want to come outside. We rotate them. Some of them don't mind the rain as much. Some of them are more sensitive to it. Uh, but if they don't want to come out, I, I can't make any animal do what it doesn't want to do kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, you can imagine like that would be a lot for them. So um, that actually doesn't bother them too much. Um, after about a day or so, a lot of the animals tend to get really used to it and it just kind of becomes background noise for them. When we shut down for COVID though, when everything got really quiet, that was weird. Because there was no there was no sound, there was no rise, there was no people, there was no oh, you shut down. I don't remember being shut down. We got time. shut down. Three months. Yeah, we were yeah. Three basically months. it was from February almost I didn't come back until like August. I was gone from February to August. Um, so it was a little while. We had a skeleton crew here making sure everybody was okay, but um, yeah, with no noise, they, they noticed that you all weren't here, that's for sure. Um, we had to find new ways to kind of interact with our animals. So like our penguins, we probably walked by our penguins a few times. Uh, they loved people watch as much as you all love people watch them. So when no one was here, they would stand in, they would be in the water on the glass going, where's the people? And they would stand there for an hour, where are they? So they got they got anxious a little bit. So the keepers were like, all right, how can we fix this for them? So on lunch break, they would just walk back and forth. And then they were like, oh, OK, people are back. It's OK, we're fine. So we noticed yeah, that was a lot of quite funny. I noticed that because yeah. I went up there and they were like straight there and I was like, oh my god, they're oh, yeah. so They love people watch. It's so funny. Sometimes you get something really shiny, they're like, oh, what is that? <laughs> they go through like a cat with a laser pointer, it's like, go, 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 go. <laughs> they like to chase fingers too. Yes, yeah, fingers, children, shiny, dangly things. I did it with my camera and he was like, come in that number. Yeah. Like, yeah. Let's get the shot together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it sounds like parsley. Parsley loves shiny things. <laughs> He's always camera shy. He's like, I love cameras. Show me up. Love me. Love me. Uh, so, a couple of fun other fun history things about this particular area. This didn't used to always be home to cheetahs. Um, everyone remembers we uh, we are called Bush Gardens. We were owned by Anheuser Bush a long time ago. It was Clydesdale. It was Clydesdale. Yeah. So the where we're going to is called the Cheetah Barn. It's because it's the old Clydesdale Barn. Uh, so when you walk in there, it's going to look like a horse barn, and you're like, oh yeah, I see it now. Does it smell like the old barn? No, basically no. It smells like cat, though. So prepare for that. It smells like cat. Oh no. It's okay. For the most part. Um, yeah. So yeah, we like about we like to recycle a lot of areas. So we did recycle that barn to make it just something fun. See, I see someone moving behind there. So it's hard to see, no, but if you, up on the roof. yeah, yeah, they really. like to, again, they like to people watch, so they're probably trying to figure out what's going on. So behind the bamboo where that fence is, there is a cheetah walking around. Um, it's hard to see, you kind of see a silhouette, uh, but once we get back there again, you'll, you'll see them a little bit better, but they do people watch. Um, our parking lot is like right next door here, so there's, they can hop up on the little, little, um, overhang and just like look out at people, so. You are being watched when you enter Bush Gardens. So can we see them when they're up? No, from where from where it is, it's like they can see you, but it's hard for you to see them, kind of thing. Um, their eyesight is super, super well, great. Yeah, well, they're camouflaged. They're also camouflaged, yeah. yeah. But when, when we get back there, you'll you'll kind of see how it, how it's laid out there. Um, you'll hear the tram go by, and they're always like, "People, there are people up." <laughs> they do like to watch. <laughs> We just got out of the Cheetah Insider Tour. Oh, it was so fun. Oh. You uh, couldn't touch them. You couldn't do anything. You just sat and stood no, there. I don't think I would want to touch them. I would want I to would. leave them alone. They're just looking at them. They're gorgeous. 
Especially and, and, peace and, and, yeah. and listening to them purr. Yeah, that oh, was cool. Yeah, some of them could be quite loud. Yeah. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, because of the fact that um, the cheetahs are a little bit skittish with other peoples, um, that that being bad enough as it is, they definitely do not want people recording or filming inside uh, because that would spook the spook them. They get spooked very easily. Some are more accustomed to all the noise. People, uh, they're all accustomed to the noise, but yeah, when it comes to actually people, some of them can be a little bit skittish. And, so uh, hopefully, eventually soon we can go on the cheetah tour and actually record and bring you guys the wonderful tour that we had. Another day in the books. All I have to say is, wow, it was it was a great day to be at Bush Gardens. Uh, had had a wonderful time with the cheetahs. Had wonderful updates about Phoenix Rising. What else can you ask for? A day with very light crowds. I don't think we've had a experience a ride that had more than five minutes yeah so don't forget to hit that like button share this video on all the social media out there and until next time